Hi, right, this is Reese from Creative Serum and today I'm going to be showing you how you can actually use Shopify and uh, Creator and how we can actually build a business process with uh, Blockly. So that it will give you the ability to develop any type of process and then automatically link with other applications which is going to be Blocky for this example. Then how we can access it anywhere, anytime with your business. So let's have a look at this and we're going to show you how we can do this. So first what we're going to do is we're going to open up and go to um, our web browser and we'll just go to Shopify here now this application what we've done is um, every time you have created a contact inside of Shopify or a customer that means that if someone has actually um, gone onto your shopping cart created a um, order and um, and um, uh, checked out it will then go straight into create us automatically and do a number of processes so let's actually go into the system and create a customer inside of Shopify so we'll just go um, Bob uh, Smith and the email address is uh, going to be uh, Bob Smith at email.com. So we're just going to simply add Bob in there. I am a great customer. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to save that, and what happens is going to go automatically into Creator when that is saved. So that's going to, uh, we're going to show you how that has happened. So we're going to actually go into Creator itself, and we've got something called Blockly here. Now, Blockly has the ability to enable you to re uh, pick up webhooks and use them. So what we've done is that we've created a um, Blockly, which is a pr like a programming language in the web browser that can listen into other applications when it sends webhooks across. And what we've done is first with, with any good CRM, we've got to make sure that is Bob Smith actually already in the database because we don't want to have multiple Bob Smiths. And I'm sure you out there in the um, database land hate deduping those databases it's very very hard to do that so what we've done is straight away in our block we've got if statements and else statements now this may look hard but as you start coding um, it is this language blockly is um, we teach uh, 12 year olds how to code in this language so I feel like if a 12 year old can do this I'm sure you can work it out as well so we've got if uh, we've got an existing uh, contact here we've pretty much put a criteria saying if first name and surname from the webhooks up here uh, check it out or let's go a bit more deeper if there's a few more email if there's an email address we're going to create an existing account meaning this person is existing we're going to link everything to this existing account if the value is um, has existing account just create an activity for this person and then we'll go through this we have an activity type call and we assign it to a person Reese Harper and we can actually uh, put a description in there you know the content of the person's notes in here or the email address along here and then all the way and add it to the person Reese Harper in the collection to that person to follow it up else if that person does not exist this is even better we can actually first cr uh, cre create a new customer through the webhook information that we received uh, which we've passed first name last name note and email address across then we've had uh, we're going to also create an activity in here and we're going to sign a call in here uh, the subject as a survey from an email uh, and then we've going to have description again which is the body of the content of the database you can put anything there and string build it string building is as joining all these um, variables together and, um, and batching up a nice little formatted string to the end user to receive then we um, add a collection of the user and so forth then you can start seeing how also we're doing other things. So we're also going to add this particular contact to an email campaign. So you can do a series of emails out to the client as well. So not only we've actually um, added them to Shopify, most people with Shopify will get an alert email sent out. We've gone even further where we've said you can actually put them in the database, which saves time and money for the person to do that. Then we've actually said, hey, we're going to create a follow-up call for that person. And also, we're going to add them to a campaign automatically to send, send a series of emails out. So that helps out, and we can do a lot more. By the way, we can send an SMS. We can do, you know, send it to another uh, CRM or another whatever it is. Did I say that? Actually, I did. Um, and another element of the database. So um, I guess you can put it into. Um, oh, look, so many other elements. Um, 
ERP systems, accounting systems, zero. We can put it into um, all those different other applications, but you get the gist. Um, so now let's that's actually happened. So what we're going to do is we're going to just uh, close that down through Blockly, and we're going to go to the customer's details. So let's go to the contact screen, and I've just sorted for my database for today. So you can see here, Bob Smith here is coming to the database. Now we click on this person. Now we can see the it's now got the person. I'm a great customer, Bob Smith and the activity across here. And we have an activity to follow that person up. So what we're also gonna do is that we're, because we've created an activity here, with Creator we have the ability to uh, click on the name of the person, which is Reese Harper here, and we've got notifications up the top here. So notifications here is all the elements that we have in the database. So if you notice, we've got Bob Smith and the, um, the person here, we can go Bob Smith, you can actually click on Bob Smith and click across and you can actually clear that particular activity and make a phone call from Bob Smith. Now, I haven't put the database in there, but I'm going to pause it for a second and put a phone number. Oh, let's just put it in here. So if I put a phone number into the database, which I forgot to do that, um, direct number 029125 with Creator, we've got a phone system connected to it, so that's even better. So what we can do here is uh, click on Bob Smith and pretend that we logged in. Oh, we've got a notification, four up there. We click on here, uh, survey from email, uh, click on Bob Smith and go to that person. Great. And what we can actually do is now simply make a phone call on here. So I'm going to click on here and I can dial that number across into the so when I can click the dial to call that number, it makes a call directly to my phone set. Um, you can link it to any device from soft phones, your mobile phone, to your laptop, to any device that you have, and you can actually call out. So that actually helps your system uh, to make a better um, call um, and speed up your process. So you can actually go from getting a lead from Shopify and getting a reminder to call to flag and call the person in the database. If I call the person, I can then pretty much go back to my notifications here and um, clear it and go, um, I've, I've complete, called, completed the call and said, the client um, is asking for X, we'll send more info. Now, and we've cleared that call, so that will then get off my notifications. It then puts it into the database here. It's been cleared, and you can see it's been cleared off and call completed along here, which is fantastic. So that is instantly going from Shopify into the database to clear the calls up. The next thing we'll do is if you notice it in the campaign section, so I'm going to go to the campaign section and I've created a campaign. Also what I've done is I've actually um, added this contact into the database. So uh, Bob Smith is now added to this campaign and I showed you beforehand with that you can link it to any type of um, element of creator with um, if I go back to the uh, workflow section all over here and this is connected to the webhook definitions. Um, I think it's this one. Uh, I don't think it is this one. So at the end of the day, we've added this contact to the campaign. And as you can see, we can continue doing this. So you can continue adding this. Now this is on the base product. So a lot of people pay up to $400 uh, just for <laughs> this automation. This is on the base product. So you can start coding. We've developed this amazing coding language that can do so much workflow. So you can see here, you've got workflows into running automatic campaigns. Um, uh, you can do mass, you can send it to email, other emails and templates across here. You can send it to other campaigns. You can send automatic reports to yourself to say, look, I want to get a PDF report um, each week to uh, us, SMSs, and for us, it automatically sync to zero because we have zero. So Blockly is a very powerful system for your, um, your business, and hopefully this helps, but please look into more videos. And we also got um, a docs section over here called docs creatorium.com.au that can give you more examples of Blockly. And that is a programming language in the cloud that you can code and build automation from other 
applications that you have on your business and put into creator and then we can automate it out into your into your customers and your prospects and your staff hopefully that helps and um, that's why we're a point of difference we're an innovative company and hopefully this you can use us uh, to do a lot for your business thank you